Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised but if you're not into that or weird shenanigans this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul but I'll remember our Tom fondly. Do you feel that? Do you hear that? It sounds like the aliens are coming. <laughs> I started doing my intro and then it's like, hum. If this is the last video you see of me, just know that I am with my alien people. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was nice knowing you. That said, in today's video, we are going to be talking about two different products. One is actually like a full-on review. The other one is more of a first impressions. So the first product we're gonna be talking about is the new KBD foundation. So let me tell you a little bit about it. The Good Apple Full Coverage Transfer Proof Vegan Serum Foundation retails for $42. A lightweight full coverage serum foundation that blends and bends with skin for a natural seamless finish and transfer proof wear. So the packaging is really, really beautiful. It comes in this beautiful glass bottle, which initially I was like, ooh, I don't know how I feel about that. But actually, no, it feels really, really nice. It feels incredibly luxurious in hand. You do get this really beautiful like thin little baby pump. It's kind of cute. Um, I like the overall whole aesthetic so much more than the actual bomb foundation which kind of felt like a plastic frisbee. Um, so, <laughs> so this is automatically amazing just in terms of like how it feels in my hand. I can throw this at somebody and definitely hurt them and I love that. But before I show you how I apply this let's talk a little bit about this Charlotte Tilbury. The Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand retails for $42. Darlings, glad on my Pillow Talk Matte Beauty Blush Wand and Pillow Talk for a beautifying pop of rosy color. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to do that. <laughs> With the easy to use magic cushion applicator, these matte blush wands are infused with light reflecting pigments to effortlessly glide into the skin with a smoothing soft focus finish for a beautifying pop of color. So the packaging is very similar to their blush wand, their contour wand, their blah, blah, blah. So if you don't like the packaging of these, you're not gonna like the packaging of these. They're exactly the fucking same. Meaning that yes, it has that weird cushion tip. Yes, it can be a little bit leaky at times if you don't close it properly. And overall, it could be very, very messy. I chose two colors. One, of course, pillow talk. And the other one is pink pop. So now I'm gonna show you how I created this little look. All right, so I don't have anything on my face, but we're gonna change that. And we are going to add some Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil. It's my primer of choice, y'all know that. And if you've never seen me before, this is the best thing ever. This is the best primer ever in my opinion. And if you ever wanna try it, I do have a code, it's Teresa 10 Go check it out or don't, whatever. But I'm telling you, you're missing out. I have very, very dry skin, so I need stuff that is going to keep me plump and juicy like a wet turkey. <laughs> Whatever that means. Also, don't mind, I have a couple little breakouts down here. It's stress related. And just for a little bit more hydration. I'm going in with the Ola Henriksen Wrinkle Blur Bucuccial Eye Gel Cream. This is great not only in your skincare, but as an under eye prepper as well. Because like I said, my skin has been just really dry. She's going through the motions, y'all. And we gotta protect her. And we gotta make sure that she's properly hydrated. Okay, so I'm gonna let that sit for a minute or so just to like really sink in. And then we're gonna get started with our KVD. I almost said Kat Bondi. KVD <laughs> foundation. So for today, I normally use a color corrector but we're not gonna do that because I want to show you how full coverage this thing goes so this is shade 106 right yep nope I'm so sorry this is shade 06 close enough I believe it's for those that have fair skin with cool undertones as you can tell I match my wall I am very 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 fair I'm gonna take about two pumps which is about this much and we are going to apply it first with the brush and then I'm gonna go over it with the sponge see how like Jesus Christ <laughs> Now I know this is a very, 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 very light shade. And when I first applied it, I was like, holy shit, it, it goes, it goes because I'm just that white. Um, <laughs> I do have a lot of redness in my skin and I have freckles that make me appear a little bit uh, darker than what I am. But no, 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 this, this, this is it. This is the shade I am constantly at all times. Times, even in the Florida sun, cause I'm a ghost. So as you can see, I had two little pimples down here and it does a fair amount of covering. So I'm gonna take a little bit more product. It's so funny, it kinda just looks like a paint swatch. <laughs> I avoid my nose because I don't like to put too much product on my nose because it tends to be the driest part of my face and we're not about that today. So as you can see, I look terrifying. So what we're gonna do is just use our dampened sponge and just gently press in that product. And because this is full coverage, when I go over my nose after going over the little bits that I put on my face, my nose is completely covered. Love that. This is a little bit different from the Balm foundation. I feel like that one is truly a hydrating foundation meant for dry skin. I would say this is less hydrating than that formula because as you can see, it's starting to dry down and it's giving a luminous finish, but 
when you use the balm, you do look very shiny, very hydrated, and you need to set it with powder. Otherwise that shit will literally slip and slide all over your face. But this, it does dry down but it does transfer too. So you do need a little bit of powder to set it. What I like about this foundation is that this looks good continually all day. I feel like I don't have many foundations that just look good as the day goes on and on and on. This is one of them. Usually foundations break down. This one holds its own. And I had it on the other day, I wanna say for like more than 12 hours. There was like maybe an area or two like around my nose where it looked a little bit dry, but I mean 12 hour use, that's pretty fucking good in my opinion. This is what she looks like. Very luminous feel, very luminous finish. So as you can see, it has that kind of soft matte finish. I think what helps it obviously is the Ritual Defeat Thorn Oil. It's not too much. I think it's very, very pretty. So now you do see my pimples poking through down here. And I think I'm going to have to kind of go in with like a high coverage concealer. I don't think... Actually, hold on. I just took a little bit of the excess that I have on my hand and just to like pat it out. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think when I use a sponge, it definitely like takes the product up right there. All right. If I pat it out with a finger, it's not so bad. So I'm just going to go in just with like... Uh, like a quarter of the pump, like just a small amount. And I want to just kind of go over some of the areas where I usually require a little bit more, like right around here and just right around there. I love that I can use a little bit of product and it doesn't come off cakey. All right, so this is the base. I obviously don't have any concealer on, but I think so far, so good looking good. And again, this is without a color corrector, which is something I normally usually have because you bitch got all redness in our skin. Okay, so I'm gonna throw on a little bit of mascara and then we're gonna come back and we're just gonna add a couple of cream products before we set the face. All right, so what I put on is a little bit of concealer and a little bit of my favorite bronzer, the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer in Light. So I just have like a little bit of something on my face, bringing me back a little bit from uncooked check-in. Okay, so the other product I wanna talk about today, and this is really, this is truly a first impression because they're in the box. And I, all I did was swatch them uh, <laughs> for my lovely Discord members. This is the Pillow Talk. This is the Matte Beauty Blush one. So I have it in the shade Pillow Talk. So I have it in the shade Pink Pop and Pillow Talk because I, how can I not get something with Pillow Talk clearly, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do uh, one on one side, one on the other. So as you can see, I swatched it, right? I'm just gonna take a little bit of this, put it on the back of my hand. Uh, it comes off pretty runny. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not a fan of the wand only because it's kind of fucking, it's messy. So I was kind of hoping that she, you know, I don't know, steer clear of this, but um, nope. Nope, nope, that's not gonna happen here. So uh, we're gonna put um, a pink pop on this side and then we're gonna put Pillow Talk on this side. All right, so I'm gonna go in with my Sonia G Classic Base. I'm gonna take a little bit of the product and then I'm just going to kind of quickly put it on the back of my hand to get rid of some of that excess. And then we're going to uh, pop it on the cheek. That's a lot, okay. <laughs> all right, maybe I didn't need that much. Okay, okay. Um. All right, I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> she bright. I'm just gonna go over it with the sponge just to kind of calm it down. It's giving Campbell's Soup vibe. Not I'm mad at it though. I'm gonna go back in just with a little bit more, but I'm gonna kind of blot it out. Put a little bit more product right there. I'm curious to see how long this takes to kind of dry down. Cause I was like, ooh, another Charlotte product. But then I was like, ooh, matte, ew. <laughs> but I mean, this is kind of looking pretty. Not too shabby. We like it. Not bad. Um, I'm not gonna do anything. I'm not gonna put any powder or anything on my face. I am just going to wipe this shit off. I'm gonna clean this brush really fast because I like using it. Looking pretty good. We're gonna add Pillow Talk to the other side. It's still giving a very beautiful luminous glow. I like that, okay. So this is what Pillow Talk looks like. Oh, spread it out a little bit. Very pretty. Again, hate the packaging. Not a fan of that, but it's okay. So I'm gonna take a little bit on the brush so, and then I'm just going to kind of blend it out a little bit so I don't have a lot of excess. Okay, I mean, oof, oof, all right. <laughs> all right, I mean, it's pretty. So again, just taking the excess, giving it a little bit more product in the front of my cheek. Okay, that's the pillow talk. They're pretty nice, they're pretty cute. My face does feel a little bit tacky though. So I'm curious to see if this ever actually dries down, but I don't know. I kind of actually don't even want to set my face with powder, to be honest with you. I have to, though, because my under eye area is creasing. So we have to put some powder there. But the rest of my face looks really just beautiful and luminous and healthy looking. I don't want to just leave it the way that it is. I know. 
All right, let me just add a little bit of powder to the under eye area. Also, ew, my foundation mixed in with the lip oil. I mean, it looked terrifying. I apologize in advance. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury, the airbrush setting powder and that brightening powder. I'm gonna set my under eye area ever so slightly. I mean, this looks pretty good. I really don't wanna do anything else. I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlighter because I'm a whore for highlighter and then, Fuck, we need to put powder on it, right? I don't want to, I I, <laughs> I don't want to. It looks so good without it. I have no issue setting this foundation with powder. When I do set it, it looks so good. But I think just for right now, I'm enjoying what this is. And even though I have two different blushes on, I don't care, it looks so pretty. I love it, I like this. I like this a lot actually. So I'm gonna go in with the shade Spotlight from Charlotte Tilbury, just a little bit. I mean, this is pretty fucking precious. Just saying. I really don't want to set my face. <laughs> I don't want to set it. It looks so good. Uh, but we have to set it because I know this is going to transfer all day. <sighs> all right, we're going to set it. One of my favorite powders to set anything with is the House Labs, the Bio Blurring Loose Setting Powder. This is fantastic. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of this product. Although lately, I'm not going to lie, I've been using the Rare Beauty Powder. Forgot how amazing this is. This one's also really good. I used this yesterday and it paired very, very, very well with the KBD. But today we're going to use House Labs. We're going to try to get it out of the goddamn container. So I'm gonna take a little bit and we're just gonna gently, gently, gently set the face. All right, so as you can see, I set the face. I feel like by kind of doing that, it takes a little bit of that blush out, just a little bit. I wanna see, do I dare try to add it over pow No, I'm not gonna fuck, no, I can't, I can't. I was about to do something real, real stupid. Uh <laughs> Let's not do that. All right, um, so yeah, so this is what it looks like over powder. Yes, you do still see the blush, but it's not as vibrant clearly as it was before, but still looks pretty, pretty good though. It's definitely, I feel like this is more of like a full coverage lighter makeup day, if that makes any sense. Uh <laughs> Cause it's absolutely full coverage. But at the same time, there's like, I don't know, I feel like my skin just, like this is like a no makeup, makeup, no makeup, makeup day, but obviously full coverage. <laughs> Cause it's concealing all my sins. Um, but yeah, I'm going to zoom you in a little bit closer if that's possible. Uh, so you can kind of really get to, to see how it's sitting over pores and all that good stuff. And here's the completed look. I know, I look adorable. I had to put something on the eyes because I started to look a little soulless and it was terrifying the shit out of me. All right, so let me give you a little rundown on what I think about this foundation. I think it's fantastic. I really, really like it. I am actually quite surprised considering I hate serum foundations. I think they look like shit on me. Usually it looks like what I'm gonna look like when I'm laying in my casket. <laughs> in my casket, in a cat. Well, I guess it would be my casket, right? Anyway, it shows me the future. I don't like it. Uh <laughs> It always looks so drying and just gross on my skin. So when I heard about this product, I was like, ooh, and then I was like, oh fuck, this is not gonna end well. But it did, it did end well, very, very well, might I add. I think the biggest thing is when using this product, you should use a hydrating primer. I find that anytime I have a super hydrating primer, 99% of the time, that foundation is just gonna look that much better. I have incredibly, incredibly dry skin, and I think because my skincare is always on point and I hydrate the shit out of my fucking face, that foundation usually Usually looks really really good on my skin. Now of course the primer I use is from Ritual Defeat. It's $68. Yes it's expensive. I'm not saying that you have to use that one. You could use any hydrating primer that you have that makes you look and feel your best. Fucking use that okay. All I'm trying to say is I think using a hydrating primer is going to help you with this foundation. Uh, that said the biggest difference between the balm and this is one the shade. The shade is a little a little bit light in the liquid and it's a little bit darker in the balm. So when I first applied it with the liquid I was a little, little shocked because I was like oh Oh, shit, this is incredibly light. Uh, I don't look like this, um, but I do though. I am that white. <laughs> It was a hard pill to swallow, but yes, no, I'm that white. I noticed when I applied with the brush, it kind of felt a little like a paint swatch, not in terms of like, oh, it felt heavy or anything like that. It just looked so white on my skin. And I liked how it applied with the brush. I felt like I was getting a nice, like even coat, but it wasn't until I used a dampened sponge and really press in the product that I felt, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now this is looking like me again. Like I look like me. <laughs> So I think you kind of need the combination of the two. You need a brush and you need a sponge. Together, 
perfection. And now I have set my face continually when using this product. Today, I didn't want to set my face. I think this and the Charlotte Tilbury, it looks so good. I just, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't want to set my face. I look so glowy and beautiful. But when I do add a little bit of the House Labs powder, I still maintain some luminosity. Granted, it's not as luminous as it was before the powder, but still my skin looks incredibly healthy, fresh. I look like I drank the blood of my enemies and I love that. So this is fantastic. So a lot of people are probably going to ask me, well, hey, which one do you prefer? Again, I kind of feel like that's an unfair question right now only because I have been using this for so fucking long. I've gone through so many of them. I have at least one backup already. And as you can see, I fucking hit pan, okay? Like we're just scraping the bottom of the barrel with this one. So clearly my allegiance is going to go with the bomb because I've been using it. I know really how that product works. But so far after using this a few times, I've enjoyed this thoroughly. And this would be something that I would repurchase in the future. But I'm kind of curious though, to see what an, a different shade would be just a little bit. I want to see if there would be one, any oxidation. If I do go up a shade higher, I'm curious. While there was no oxidation with this one, I, sometimes I kind of feel like it's just like a little bit I don't know, like a little bit too pale. I feel like I could probably jump up a little bit, but I'm a little bit scared, not gonna lie, <laughs> because I don't want it to like completely just look like a different person. So I kind of want to think about that uh, when picking up the next bottle, or maybe if I go into the store and I see this in the store, to kind of swatch what the next shade would be. I kind of feel like that might be a better match. The reason why I chose this shade is because this is my shade in the Good Apple Bomb. And as you can clearly see, this one is a hell of a lot lighter than this one. Uh, this one kind of almost feels like a concealer in comparison. In terms in terms of like the dry down, I think this one dries down faster than this ever will. But when you do start to kind of apply this with the brush, you'll notice that it's kind of drying, but it's not impossible to move. So that makes me incredibly happy. It doesn't set your face like stone, so you can move the product around. I wouldn't wait too long, obviously. I haven't <laughs> when using this. I wouldn't say like, oh, fucking watch, you know, three episodes of Southern Charm and then come back and try to do your makeup. I feel like that would not end well for anybody. But you know what I'm saying? Like, don't waste too much time trying to do the rest of your makeup, but so far so good. There is some transferring. I don't give a shit what anybody says. I know the claims are like, it's transfer proof. It's not transfer proof by any means, especially the other day when I was changing shirts, I noticed that I had like a nice ring of foundation around my collar. So I say, especially if you're blending it down your neck, put extra powder there because this shit transfers like a motherfucker. I do wear glasses and even the last few days, like I didn't really notice the dents to be that big. I did add a little extra powder just on the bridge of my nose just to avoid like huge dents. And I have to say, even with wearing glasses all day, it looks pretty good. I think this foundation is fantastic in the sense that it doesn't settle into your fine lines. This is my opinion, by the way. I feel like I have to specify that. Doesn't settle into my fine lines or my student loan stress lines. It didn't emphasize any dry texture. Didn't emphasize my pores. It made my base just look smooth and buttery and just oh so good. Now I have worn this for upwards to over 12 hours and I will say it looked pretty good with the exception of like around my cheek area. It kind of broke down a little bit but again that's like after 12 hours. I'm not going to give it the riot act like it's 12 hours like who cares you know 12 hours is a long fucking time and the fact that I have anything on my face is pretty fucking fantastic. Now of course the biggest test how well it holds up in the heat um, and it's starting to get warmer here. So I'll report back in a future video about how this lasts in the heat because I can't really comment on that right now. But I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to last uh, well. Otherwise, that sucks <laughs> so much. Um, but yeah, I have to say, highly impressed with this. Again, serum foundation. I didn't think much of it. Fucking fantastic. So yeah, if you're interested in checking this out, I say go for it. But if you're trying to match yourself in the balm foundation, think about that a little bit. And if you can go to a Sephora or an Ulta or wherever that's actually having these in person and swatch it in person, because I think you might be surprised like I was that the balm and this didn't really match all that much. It's not terrible. It did work out in the end, but I was like, holy shittigles. Okay. We love this. Very, very happy about that. Okay. Now moving on to the Charlotte Tilbury products. So these are the matte beauty blush ones. And the, of course they're in the pillow talk line. Listen, pillow talk is never gonna die, okay? <laughs> This is a product that's going to outlive us all. I'm sure it's going to be fucking, you know, 3029 and pillow talk is going to be ruling some fucking area of the earth if the earth doesn't blow up. Whatever comes first anyway. 
point is, um, this product, when I saw it, I was like, ooh, because I do like Chad Tilbury. I do like her stuff, and I really, really do love her blushes. I think her titty blushes are so fucking good. Her titty blushes are everything. Highly recommend getting a titty blush if you can. That said, when I saw these, I was like, ooh, a new blush product. But then I was a little like, oh no, it's in that stupid fucking wand packaging. I hate the packaging of this. One, it's just, it's just gross. It's like a really weird puff thing. You never feel like the product is actually closed properly. I start to kind of like panic because I'm like, is this way or this way? Is this way or this way? Either way, sometimes this shit leaks. It's not cool. So I kind of wish that they would steer away from this packaging and, and do something else, but I don't think so. I think there's too many people that are like, oh my God, this is so life changing. Uh, so they don't hear the people that are like, hey, this is stupid. <laughs> which whatever, it's fine, fine. Anyway, so this particular blush formula, I believe there are four different shades. I just picked up two. I picked up Pillow Talk because I had to. I had to pick up Pillow Talk. And then I picked up uh, Pink Pop. I love pinky blushes. I love them. They are my bread and butter. And I love the color of Pillow Talk. I just think it's like a really beautiful, like nude-ish rose. I don't even know what kind of color it is. It's its own fucking color, but I think Pillow Talk is so beautiful. And I feel like every iteration of Pillow Talk that I've had pretty much, I've always thoroughly enjoyed. That said, um, I like these a lot. Uh, so they are pigmented. So I totally would recommend putting them on the back of your hand and then applying with however you're applying, whether it's a brush or a sponge. I use a brush for initial application. Tap that excess off. You can get really like possessed doll real quick with these. <laughs> so I think by doing that, I was like, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's soft. It's nice. When going over with the sponge, it really just pushed that product in and really melted into the skin. I didn't notice it disturbing the products underneath. Now, granted, all I had on my face, this is truly a first impression of this one. The KBD was an actually full on Review. This is more of like a first impression because this is the first time I've ever tried it on my base. Um, but so far so good. By using that sponge, it really pressed in the product. I think it just made for a very beautiful, soft look. I do think though, if I didn't powder my face, the blush would be a little bit more prominent. But when using a setting powder, it definitely, I don't, I don't want to say dulled it because I feel like that's a, such a shitty word, but it, I guess dulled it, right? I'm sure someone will in the comments will be like, no, no, this is what you mean. I'll be like, yes, that's what I mean. Thank you. Uh, so that person, thank you in advance. Um, <laughs> But it did like soften the look a little bit more where at first I was like, can you even see if I had blush on? But yes, you can. It's just uh, more of like a, a watercolor kind of effect. Um, I really did not want to set my face down today because I think the combination of everything wet, and I say wet, but it really wasn't that wet, just looked so beautiful. It looked like my skin looked so scrumptious that I wanted to like literally just take a piece off and eat it. It looked beautiful. I think this mixed in with everything just is so nice. Of course, I'm going to continue to use it because we have to know if it's a fluke or not. But I am a fan. I, I'm a fan so far. I think they're really, really beautiful. I look virginal, as virginal as, as, as I can be. Someone's going to be sacrificing me to a volcano later, and I love it. I don't know. I, I just, I think this is like a really, really good product. Now, do you need it? Um... I think they're fun. It's definitely a fun product. Is it the most life-changing thing I've ever tried from Charlotte Tilbury off the bat? No, I, but I still think it's pretty good though. In terms of blushes though, I think the titty blushes are probably like, those are just so fucking good. The titty blushes, even the first time I used it, I was like, oh, this is life-changing. <laughs> These are really good, but I want to continue to use them to see if I'm going to always have this result. But so far, so good. They're very easy to work with, as you can see. I think the biggest con is the packaging. I would say the price, but I mean, that's that's the price for Charlotte. You know what I mean? Like, she's always that bitch. Now, do I prefer a color over the other? No, I actually think I like both colors. and I'm kind of glad that I got both colors. You know me, I'm extra as fuck. I don't care. I like it. And even though you can kind of tell that there is a difference between both sides of my face, I still think it's really fucking cute. I'm adorable today. And that's really all that matters. So yes, I say um, if you were thinking about potentially picking this up, um, I say like, I don't think you're gonna be disappointed if you get this. I think this is fun, but but I will update you in a future video to let you know if I'm still loving it. But so far, so good. I am a motherfucking precious. Anyway, now I would love to hear from y'all. Let me know down below if you are picking up the KBD foundation or if you're picking up Charlotte Tilbury, or if you're like, no, fuck it, I don't want either. Let me know because I love hearing from you. And with that said, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, and YouTube members. Thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty. Garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just want to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what is currently on my face, everything you need to know will be listed in the description box down below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.